the key to making a publishing an ebook is well, you have to have passion for a subject, something you can write more than a page or two about, and and something that you're going to give your readers some information that they um, that probably most won't know, uh, besides those that maybe have the same interest, and that's the the key is to, is to convey your idea to them on, in words because in an ebook let's face it it's it's words and we have to convey our ideas uh, to actual uh, so that our readers can understand what we're trying to say and make it interesting for them so one of the things to do is um, is to have some um, hot words they call it or, or keywords let's say you're talking about a subject um, dogs and there's many breeds of dogs and there's keywords that about dogs that people that you can go to Google AdWords and get the keywords and use those for interjecting them in your paragraph because it makes it more interesting when you bring out those keywords because people will be searching for your ebook and uh, when they when 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 they're reading it and then they see the words that they've been searching for well, they're interested in it, and it's in your ebook and within your um, uh, within the pages. Then that's exciting for them because they see, oh, this person, this is what this is what I want to read. And so you're going to capture their interest with a good title, just like if you write, you know, publishing a book. It's it's the same thing. It's just it's done electronically, much cheaper, quicker, and uh, it's very fast. So I'm going to show you the software that's needed. Uh, as we go into this video uh, to publish that so once we have everything we're assumed that we have everything written in a uh, word processor which I'm going to show you some a few screenshots of uh, maybe this video here that I'm doing and I'll just start from scratch you look over my shoulder then I'll just take it and go over to the uh, the ebook uh, creation or publishing software and I'll show you how to take it from there. And plus, I'll tell you how to get uh, this software, uh, where you can get it. And I'll provide you a link to it. So that way you'll have uh, this software at your disposal if you decide you want to use it. Uh, it's a great, I like it, it works. And what I like about this software too is that it can, you can control. So if someone had paid you for your ebook and they decide, well, you know, uh, I gotta get my money back, but they think they keep the ebook. Well, that's not how it works because when the ebook uh, you can control, every time they click on that ebook, it has to go through the server, and you can you have full control. If they got a refund, they can no longer get access to your that ebook anymore because you have control whether to give them access or not. And it's all in the administrative part of the uh, publishing ebook software. So it's nice. It's it's, uh, it's a good feature. Keeps people honest, and it, and uh, especially for your paying customers, if they're paying for an ebook. Uh, also has a feature you can just give the ebook away. You can share it with friends and emails. They can. Uh, so there's a lot of features. So say you just want a ebook, you're not interested in selling it. It's free information, or you just want to share the information that you know, or sh you know, in your ebook then you can do that as well. So there's all kinds of settings in the administrative part of it. So I'm happy and excited that you, uh, you're you watching this video. And we'll show you some screenshots here coming right up and uh, how we're going to uh, get you from A to Z and publishing your own ebook. And uh, so uh, stay with me on the video and uh, we'll find out together. Okay, so I'm inside. Uh, I've logged into uh, eBook Pro Client Tools. I'll have a link for this where you can get this particular uh, software. Um, so don't worry about that. But right now, I just want to show you how it works. And then if you're interested, once I show you, then um, I'll have a link at the end where you can get yours. Anyway, uh, you can see on this, uh, my screen here is... What I have is the uh, ebook wizard, and all I'm doing, I'll show you how I did this. Uh, when I bring this up, here's a here's an ebook that I've already created. Uh, 
prior and I can edit it and I can do different things with it. For example, uh, let's see if say I edit it. Here it is, it'll come up and um, start right from the index. And the ebook that I originally created a while back was how to create a prof profitable real estate note. And my site fastcashfunding.com. And uh, so here's the different sections. You start out with a table of contents, and there's links. It, this um, software automatically links all the different parts of the uh, your chapters or whatever as you go. And it kind of sets it up for you so that uh, you will, um, it's very easy to use. But if I come down here, this is my um, control center or this is the part that when I log into this when I click on the icon for the ebook this is what I get comes into this this particular screen right here so I want a new ebook all you do is hit new ebook okay create a new ebook from scratch compile an existing ebook so there's a couple of options here this is, we're going to stick with create a new ebook from scratch next let's give it a title we're going to call this how to Publish an e book. Okay, the brief description is you can create your own e book from scratch and it's we'll say how you so I only got so many lines okay so how you can create your own ebook from scratch now we'll enter a name I'll just use my name and here's that I'm gonna stick with this one so there's a bunch you can pick, and you can review your chapter, page, title, and so on and so forth. And I just hit next in the wizard. It's going to say where it's going to save my book. So it's, this is see my ebooks, how to publish an ebook. You can browse and change wherever you want to save it. In this case, that's fine by me. Um, Now here's my uh, the settings of my new ebook, um, and finish. Here we go. So it brings up the index in chapter one. So I come in here and, and I can edit all the any of this. I'll show you. I'm not going to change it all, but see, I can come in here and change it, put it whatever I want. Uh, let's say my title is going to be in here. How to publish an e-book. Uh, I have a subtitle. Once so I done done that, I I, um, I minimize the page I was working on. All I did is minimize it. So I go back to my control page here, and I can edit the book or I can compile the e-book, and say it's all done which is you know I'm just for uh, showing you here in the video I just kept it very simple but say you know you've got everything you want in your ebook and all the pages are there and then now you got to compile your book so you it's going to say where it's going to save it you can browse and change that of course um, this is going to change it. this is going to save it to my desktop it's not a bad idea if you save it to the desktop it's easy to find but whatever works for you. So let's say I'm going to save it to my desktop. Hit the next button. You can put m icons if you have an icon already. It comes with a few uh, default icons. So let's just call it, um, oh, let's see, maybe book four. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just call it, we'll just use this one. Okay. And... 
There's a splash. When it's loading, that's what that's the screen that comes up. You can change that. So, so let's say I, I don't want that one. Well I can come back in here and let's say we'll pick this one. I can preview it. Loading ebook. So I loaded ebook. Now I'll go next, we'll leave that one up. You can use an image to provide details about your ebook. Your customers can can view this image from the help menu in the viewer. An image, you can uh, brand your ebook, company logo. So you press on there. If you have a, a load brand, it gives you a few default ones. So before we pick this one, so let's put this in. And accept. If you're going to give the book away for free, you can do the 40 bit. But if you're uh, selling ebook, you probably you definitely want to go 128 bit. Gives you a strong encryption. Next, full name. Here's my former. Uh, no. Okay, and then um, when they register free or otherwise, you can pick what they the information you need back from them. Basically, first name, last name, email. I don't need postal code. I don't need their phone number. And they can unsubscribe anytime. Tell them how to do it. So it's it's setting up a legitimate uh, opt-in email. And then, uh, if this is a viral ebook, you can provide a custom email with your reader. So you can do this. If if it's a viral or you want, to, you're not charging for it, then you can send this email message. It's it's pretty much already done. You just uh, edit this to your own um, to your own information, and click OK. And next, if this is not a free ebook, we're going to keep it free for a demo, then you wouldn't click this. You don't check this. Next, you can allow your users to print the ebook, and you can figure that how they would print it or um, take screenshots. You can make part of my ebook is free. And you can open part of it as uh, I'm going to click all of them, but these are all your choices. You can make part of it free, give them a little uh, introduction, a little teaser, and then uh, they'd have to pay for the remainder. How to publish an ebook exact. And I can save the file. And this is what, if this is a viral, so that's all they do is they click on the link and then they can get the ebook. And here it comes. See how to publish an ebook. And there it is. And I can double click on it, and then I can run it. Go to doityourselftips.info. Doityourselftips.info, and I'll see you in my next video. Downloaded the ebook, and it's depending on where they saved it. Here I saved mine to my desktop. They click the icon, how to publish an ebook. It loads the ebook.